I'll admit it, when I saw the Twine Renpy tool, I was kind of thinking, okay, yeah, I get it. This is good for writers who don't want to program. Programmers don't want to babysit writers. I totally get it. But then I happened to talk to Jay, who created the tool uh, on the DevTalk Discord. And when he told me what this tool was originally for, it just... But first, let's talk about what Twine is. Twine is an open source tool usually used to make interactive fiction games. You can download it from twinery.org or you can use it directly in your browser. I won't go into the specifics of Twine for now, but the important part you need to know is that branching narratives are visually depicted with these flowchart story cards and the finished games can be published in HTML. At a real basic level, you can make a whole game with like little to no coding experience, but with a little bit of knowledge of CSS, a little bit of JavaScript, like you can make some serious games with this thing. Let's get back to that conversion tool. Download Jay's Twine to RenPy tool from the link in the description and throw them a few bucks if you want. For the Twine to RenPy tool, by default, you can only use a few elements of Twine's functionality. The name for each of these cards will be turned into a label name, so set this one to start if you want this to be where your game starts. From here, write text in quotations, maybe even with a character name, and when you want to make a choice menu, set choices in these double brackets here. If you set multiple ones on separate lines like this, they'll become part of the same menu statement. If you want the option text to be separate from what it links to, use a vertical line to separate the statements like this. And if you want to break your chart into multiple RPY files, use the tag doc break right up here. Now let's open the Twine to RenPy tool. If you need any other custom RenPy terms translated, go into the replace tab and set those there. You could potentially use this for stuff like Twine variables, text tags, or other features. Just set it for whatever Twine features you want to convert into RenPy terms. You can see by default, it changes double click this passage to edit it, which happens whenever you open a new story card and just translates it into pass. It just means it's gonna skip that part of the text entirely. Then when you're ready to convert, select your twine file up here and then choose a location for the tool to export your RPY file to. And there, it's made. Now again, when I saw this tool, I thought it was for the writer to programmer handoff, but uh, turns out it's for dungeon layouts for mapping out really complicated room structures and connecting them visually. Which again, I've designed areas that were meant to be explored before, but because it was hard to visually depict it in a way that was easy to translate to code without missing something, I ended up using simple grids or circles as a base. But with this thing, I can make a crazy complicated dungeon framework. And it doesn't have to be just physical environments. Anything complicated can be set up in Twine this way. Honestly, it's making me feel a lot more confident about making more elaborate and intertwined narratives. Now, just as a caveat, I wouldn't design like a whole visual novel in this thing, but for a discrete section of your visual novel, this thing's terrific. So be sure to check out Jay's game projects his itch.io page. And also I'd give this devlog a read. This goes into really interesting aspects of generating a dungeon and how that would translate into a finished game. Is there any additional functionality you'd want this tool to have? Or maybe you have a really unique idea for how you'd want to use it. Let me know in the comments below. And if you like the process of making games in Twine, maybe you want to try my drag and drop tutorial right over here. Or if you think this tool gives you the confidence to give RenPy a try, I have a basic tutorial right here for you. And as always, thanks for cooking with me.